parotid gland malignancies constitute about 5% of all head and neck cancers. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rohit Nayar. I am a Senior Director, Surgical Oncologist with Max Hospital, Sake, Delhi. Today we will be discussing about parotid gland tumors. So what are these parotid glands? Parotid glands secrete saliva which is required for digestion and absorption of food. 75% of these tumors are benign, only about 20 to 25% are malignant tumors. Tumors normally start as a painless swelling either in front of the ear or beneath the ear lobules, which are slowly growing over a period of time as a painless lump. Sometimes these tumors involve facial nerve and once the nerve is involved, the person can get right side or left side, whichever side the mass is as facial paralysis, where there will be paralysis of the muscles of the nerve, where, which is supplying the face. How do we treat it? We identify these glands either by doing an MRI or a CT scan to know the characteristics of the gland. Secondly, your physician will order a test called apinacy to check whether it is cancerous or a non-cancerous swelling. Treatment is simple. All you need to do is to excise these tumors along with a cuff of salivary tissue, which is a small surgery. You need hospitalization for a day or two and the patient is discharged the very next day. With the presence of modern gadgets, nerve monitoring systems and the experienced physicians, the complications are minimal. The only problem with the removal of the tumors is that the facial nerve which supplies facial muscles passes through this gland. You need to dissect the branches of the facial nerve and remove the tumors. If while doing surgeries you need to excise the nerve, there are techniques available to repair the nerve, to put the nerve grafts or to put slings to do the facial reanimation. So it's not a big major deal. It's the treatment is available and just need to see your physician and get yourself rid of it. The early you diagnose, the early you get treatment done, the lesser is the chances of complications. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.